And also in last video, we saw how to install SQL Server 2019 cluster instance. Basically, we created an uh, instance called dgokte on this node, node 1. Now in this video, in order to validate the connectivity, we are going to download SQL Server Management Studio first and we are going to install that on this node 1 again. So if you go back to this documentation, here I have mentioned from where we can download SQL Server Management Studio installer. So uh, this is a link from where we can download this SSMS installer and I have do I already downloaded that on my uh, software's directory. This is the installer. Okay, I'm going to copy this on node, node 1. So P8 plus password hash 1, 2, 3. Okay, I'll keep this open. And uh, let me go back. And under C directory, under softwares folder, I will copy that guy. It's not getting copied. Okay, and let's install. And uh, remember, so if I go back to my, let, let the document, this inst installation starts. I'm not going to modify anything here. I will keep everything default. I'll just simply click on install. So it will take a while. And meanwhile, let's go back to our documentation. And if you see here, uh, where the instance name is. Yeah, so uh, we had specified this SQL Server network name as dgokte and we haven't uh, specified named instance. We specified default instance, okay? So because of that now, uh, the beauty is like we, have, we just have to specify this dgokte since we are not, we have mentioned default instance. We just have to specify this SQL Server network name. We'll see that. So let's go back. It will take some time. Thing is, like if we would have specified some instance name, let's say ABC, what would have happened? We have to specify like this way, DGOGAT slash the instance name. Named instance name, you can say. But since we have, we are using default instance now, we just have to specify this guy. We'll see that. It's basically installing SSMS along with Azure Data Studio.
perfect it's about to finish i'll close remaining things we don't need this we don't need this also i will close this guy also we'll keep this open finished i will close it we don't have to restart and just search ssms here that should open so we are going to use uh, we'll see uh, we'll log in with uh, uh, sql sql credentials and windows credentials both okay so as of now uh, uh, server type is database authentication is windows authentication okay and as you can see the server name it shows is dgokte since it is a default instance we don't have to specify anything else just click connect and now we'll get to see the default databases here perfect and uh, if i go back to my temp drive sorry or uh, c drive cluster storage and for temp drive we had specified both data drives and uh, uh, log drives we had specified so what i will do let me go back and file name extension so as you can see this is a log drive this is a primary drive secondary drive two data drives and one log drive okay so that is for temp and it is under temp and remaining uh, data drives and log drives would be over here these are for uh, master database i mean uh, so sql data drives see these are the default databases mdf and nlws log drives and data 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 files and log files okay so another thing so we check this connectivity using windows authentication and remember uh, we selected uh, both windows and uh, sql authentication so mix mode we had selected so so we had selected mix mode authentication and for sa we gave the password at this so this is the administrator account and i can use my account as well so no this is windows account and server account we have to use sa p a double s password hash one two three yeah see it worked okay so now uh, so we have finished that so if i go back so we have checked check the connectivity as well for this dgokta instance now in next video we are going to install that failover instance on node 2 for this so this will be active here and this will act as a passive so we'll see that in the next video so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video